Johnny? I agree with you. I didn't even know you were still in the house. Okay, I, I was getting some documents ready. Actually, I'm already late. I'm moving right away. <sighs> can we go in already? Yeah, please. The doctor can fix breakfast for you. Stick that thing. Huh? Are you going this early? Yeah. Priska. Okay. Who's Adi? Fix my breakfast. Adi, I'm late for an appointment, okay? I'll catch up with you some other time. Bye. And um, you should watch your weight because I'm drinking black coffee. the office this morning? Yes, sir. I I always like to put my best into whatever I find myself to do. That's good to know. Your husband must be a very lucky man. He is a very lucky man. Indeed, he's a very lucky man, sir. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Yes. Well, I would like to suggest that we start office devotion. You know, it is usually better to start with God in everything we do. That's very thoughtful of you. Donald, what's wrong with you? Why are you in this mood? I mean, this is supposed to be a happy moment for all of us, or are you not happy to see me? It's been like this since morning. Donald, I've told you. See, there's no problem without a solution. You get out of this. I mean, Calm down. Calm down? What is there to calm down about? What are you talking about? Do you realize my containers are still held down there in the wall? Listen, if anything ever happens to any of my containers, I swear, I will commit suicide. This is too much for me to bear. Suicide? Oh, come on, it has not gotten to this. Why are they still holding on to your containers? And what are they asking for? Those bastards are still asking for a bribe of 300,000 naira. Where the hell am I supposed to get that kind of money from? Where? What's 300,000 naira? I mean, this is a small money. How I wish I have that much. 300,000 naira. Maybe 300,000 naira is a, is a day's money, okay? And that shouldn't make you unhappy. Okay. Why don't you oblige me to talk to my father about it? No! Briska, I said no! Listen! What are you talking about? You want to belittle to me before your family? Don't you realize I am a man of integrity? I work for every cobo I own! I am not a man to sit around and be spoon fed by a woman! You now? She's not trying to belittle you. I mean, listen to her. Baby, this is not being belittled, okay? I mean, if I'm not there for you, who would? I'm your girlfriend. I mean, who do you expect to help you? I mean, okay, why are we friends? Tell me, what am I there for? Okay. If you insist. But um, on one condition. Which is? That I must pay you back. Every couple. I must. If you insist, mister, that's okay by me. Brisbane, you're wonderful. <laughs> I wish I had a reliable friend as nice as you are. <laughs> Come on, Tony. What are friends for? I mean, we're there to share, we're there to love, we're there to cuddle, we're there to... For everything. You know, he's my baby and I love him so much. And I wouldn't want to see him like this again. You home early today? Um, well, I asked my boss to give me permission, and uh, he did to come back home early. All right. And uh, who is this lady with you? Oh, I'm um, that. This is June. She's my friend. Oh, mm, what a beautiful name! Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome, my dear. Well, Dad, yeah. uh, I decided to bring her home early so I can introduce her to you. She, we've been dating for quite some time now, right. and by the grace of God this relationship will lead somewhere positive. That's good. 
That's good. I, I can't wait to see that day. <laughs> so, did you meet anybody at home? Ah, uh, no, we didn't. Daddy, good afternoon. Good afternoon, please come. Please, please, I want to talk to you. Please can you and your visitor, excuse me. Priska, are you all right? Yeah. As you can see, Dad and I are discussing something very important. Uh, what I want to discuss with Daddy is also as important as what people are discussing here. So please, excuse me. Okay, Priska, can I hear this thing that cannot wait at least for me to rest after a hard day's job? What is it? I need money. You need money? Mm. What for? My boyfriend, my fiancé, has a business problem and I want to help him sort it out. Your fiancé has a little business problem and you want me to sort it out? Priska, I don't have money. That you don't have money? I don't have money. Then why is it that everything that concerns me in this house is none of your business? You don't even care about me. Why do you love Ben more than you love me, Daddy? Now, okay, now, how do you want me to get the money? You want me to go and stand on the road at me? You want to stand on the road as a prostitute? Priska, have you gone mad? No. Why, why is it that at every opportunity you just prefer to just embarrass yourself? Do you want to wash your dirty linen in public? Is that what you want? If your boyfriend or fiance or whatever you call him needs money, let him go out there and look for money. Hey, alright? Did he tell you, did he leave money with daddy? What's your problem? Ben. You want to wash the ceiling, Abby? I will help you wash it. I will help you. After all, what I love us for is not to help each other in times of needs. Don't you help her? Okay. How much are we talking about? Just 300,000. Just 300,000. Three what? 300,000 naira. When did you hear your sister? 300,000 naira. And she wants me to vomit it right here now. Get out. I don't have children. I need it all. Please, guys, I get it. And you stop, stop insulting me, I beg. Eh? Stop insulting me. You see me, you're talking to me. I will stop you. What should we do? Priska, please now. Why are you behaving like this? Eh? Hey? Why now? What is he doing here? I don't know. I've warned him not to come here again. I don't want to not come here and see him. Now, please leave my house. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, ma. I... Well, what have I done wrong, ma? Everything about you is wrong. Everything about you is wrong. Listen to this. I won't have you compete with somebody else over my daughter. An international businessman for that matter. Please, Elvis, you are a wretched man. Leave my daughter alone. Now, leave my house. Leave this moment. Please, no, but, but I love, I love Priska, no. My daughter does not love you. Please leave. Try the next house. Please, try the next house, I say. Try the next house. Get out. Study for money today. You need to see the way him and Ben almost tore me apart. In fact, they almost beat me up. What do you need the money for? Donald. He's having a little business difficulty, and I suggested I was going to help him raise 300,000 naira. Jeez. <laughs> that is too much. 300,000. Anyway, Donald is my man. Uh, I'll see how I can help him.
Mobile Kibit. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Ah, ah. Well, good evening. Good evening, sir. How are What's you? all this money for? I want her to go and pay the money to my account tomorrow. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, son, how are you? How has it been today? Oh, well, I had to come back home early from work. Hmm. What for? <laughs> Mommy, you've not heard. Ben bought one very dark girl to the house. They will see her now. Or chocolate will be back. Whatever. I hope she's a fine girl. That mom needs to this girl. Oh, the one I saw, the one I didn't see. What is this, baby, Prisca? I, I, I look upon this as once in a lifetime opportunity to break even in this town. To at least turn my lot around. Of course, you know I have lots of things to do with money. You see, there's a formula to you. You understand? You have to try as much as possible to make her believe that I own your house. <laughs> I own your cars and every other thing that belongs to you. No, seriously, I'm not joking. Listen, it's, 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 it's a packaging. Okay? It's a packaging. Secondly, you don't have to make her realize you're squatting me. Look, I feel like I, I, I am some sort of, you know, you know, your benefactor, you know, like helping you out in the world two things. Okay? No, 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 of course. That's the only way you can work out. Don't out. Come, don't out. For how long are you going to fake this? Is it not time you let this girl know how you are? I beg. I mean, unmask yourself and let Priska really know the type of donut she's dealing with. Today, I am surprised that at this age you're still sleeping like a Dundee United. Wake up, my friend, wake up. This is Lagos. Wake up. It is not faking. I'm not faking anything. It's called packaging. A little bit of packaging. As it is, I gathered from a reliable source that the family, they respect the wealthy excessively, but they hate the poor with the passion. In other words, I've got to be wealthy for them to recognize me. Of course. They're coming. Hey! Hello, baby. Oh, How are you doing? Oh, fine, thank you. Mm. Oh, you're looking very gorgeous. Oh, sit by me, sit by me. <laughs> ah, Mr. Berkeley, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. And how's the one now? Oh, brilliant. Alright. So, how did you come? My normal taxi guy takes me around. Oh, okay. <laughs> Darling. This is the money you asked for. What's wrong? This guy, you know I hate this. You know I hate it. Did I tell you not to bother yourself over my business problems and all that? Why are you going the distance trying to take my business from me? Baby, what difference does it make than helping you to solve out your problems? I thought we were supposed to be one. I mean, what's different? But I told you I was going to sort it out myself. I understand. And I know that this is just a chicken change to you, okay? So just accept it. I just, I just, I just, I just can't thank you enough. You know, for, for being there for me. You know, always standing by me. You know, making all this money available and stuff like that. I know, mean, I know you're passing through. Listen, I'm really very grateful. Thank you. Is that so? Mama, you have not seen anything yet. Hey. This guy is so rich that you can perceive wealth. Hey, hey. That's the kind of man I want for you. Of course. Priska! 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 Who took away money from my bedroom? Who? I'm asking you and they are moping at me. Listen, if you don't bring that money, I will block off your eyes. That? What, what is it? Can you imagine? This girl stole 300,000 naira from the money I kept in my bedroom. Eh? Eska, what is this? What is this? Where is the money? Ben, you're, you're fooling dying to talk, eh? You're fooling dying to talk. Did you see me stealing money from that room? Did you see me stealing money from that room? Where did you keep the money? Me? Oh, you 
number 99. What is this noise all about? Eh? Mama, can you imagine? Can you imagine Ben telling me that I'm a thief? And that is adding to me too. That I went to that to steal 300,000. When? How? Where? Don't no, stop that, my friend. Look, 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 look. If you don't bring that money, I'll plug your eyes for this. Is it? Did you see Priska taking your money? Eh? How did you jump into a conclusion that she's the one that has your money? Now listen, it was exactly the same amount she asked me for to help her chewing gum boyfriend that got missing from the money I kept in my bedroom. So she took it. Go and look for your money. Go and look for your money very well. My daughter doesn't take what doesn't belong to her. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And for your information, Donald is Jesus. very rich. He doesn't need your money. He's a multi-millionaire. So mom, what are you saying now that daddy doesn't know the amount of money he kept? Huh? He used to have very sound memory. But I think old age is affecting him. Just 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 look at them. Like mother, like daughter. Now listen, if by daybreak you have not brought that money, I will cut off your head and wait for the consequence. Watch me. Stupid girl. Wait. I saw you counting some amount of money earlier on this evening. I saw you, you shut, 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 shut up. Shut up. Mm -hmm. If I hear Pri from my mouth again, talk less of Priska, I will shut that mouth up for you. Foolish boy. The money you saw her can. Did you see your father's name written on that money? Is he the only one that has money in this house? Nah, After all, how much does he have? Because of 300,000 and he's shouting, hey, 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 Would you like to spend the rest of your life with me? Excuse me. I'm asking if you would like to be my wife. Ben, considering your person, you've, you've been so, so nice to me. I'd hate to tell you... No. Really? Like for real? <laughs> Are you serious? But then considering your family, your mother's attitude towards me. No, no, no. You're, you're not getting married to my mother. You're getting married to me. I know, but you're part of your family and forever remain part of them. All right. Can, can you think about it? Maybe just, just think about it and, and, and just let me know. But remember, as you're thinking about it, that you're getting married to Ben. All right, let me just think about it. I just said I should talk to you about it, sir. All right, I have heard you. But uh, there is one thing you people of this generation don't understand. Relationship between man and woman goes beyond the physical. But sometimes if they don't agree... Oh, Margaret. Oh. Who are you looking for? You're looking for Priska, man. Margaret, what kind of question is that? You just came in, you saw him discussing with me, and you, you still you, you antagonize him with Quest. Antagonize? Of course. Grandma, if he had come to look for you, that would have been okay. But since he says he has come to look for my daughter, now leave this house. Leave this house, my daughter has got nothing to do with a wretched man. Leave now. Margaret! Don't Margaret me. I said you should leave this house this minute. Leave, 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 Mr. Man, leave. Good day, sir. Leave. Go. Leave my house. Must he come here? Huh? Margaret, what has come over you? What is your problem? Your own problem is that you cannot differentiate between what you want and what you abhor. That's your problem, Johnson. The man, my boss, even said it himself. I am always the first to come to work every day. I come before even the cleaners. Can you imagine? Hi, mom. Doing that? Oh, my child. Good evening, sir. You're welcome. 
can't see that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Dad, I have something to tell you. All right, go ahead. Well, I have decided to take Joan as my wife. Mm. I proposed to her, and she accepted. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> you mean my That's son actually crazy. wants to marry you while you are sitting down? What kind of training do you have? My friend. By the way, what does your father do for a living? My father is a retired headmaster. And your mom? She's a teacher. And you, what do you do for a living? Well, I just graduated from the university. Oh my God. So what, who sustains the family then? Enough of that cross-examination, Margaret. What is the problem? Are we in a high court? The questions are so unnecessary. Uh -uh. Please, Johnson, let me talk. What is it? Yeah. Look at yourself. After all the training he has received, he's associating himself with poverty. Taking yourself backward. I know that one day Ben will walk into this house with a woman he wants to marry. I respected the daughter of a minister, an ambassador, or even a senator. I least respected the daughter of a retired headmaster, teacher, all that. No, no, please, that's, that's enough now. Uh -uh. You're embarrassing me. Mumu, mm -hmm. trying to bring you up and you're letting yourself down. Margaret, please leave us. What? Yes. Me. Leave us. Leave we have something here. to discuss. Sorry, this is my house. My dear, I'm, 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 I'm very sorry for the embarrassment, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm very sorry. Please, let's go. There is no embarrassment. Call a spade a spade. Hot rat. Should have gone for the daughter of a papa instead. convinced me that the thief just came, took the money, and went away just like that. By the way, who came in first to the office this morning? Accountant and I, sir. But he came in to meet Eno in the office. It was immediately the accountant went into his office that he noticed his drawer was broken. Then he called on my attention. I see. Eno and the accountant cannot be exonerated from this crime. Because you were the first to come in 
And the accountant is the only one that knows that there is a 450,000 Naira in this office. It's not only me, sir. Mrs. Justin was the person that received the money and gave it to me. No, no, no. Don't ever mention that woman's name again. You know very well she is not capable of behaving like that. So I maintain she is innocent. Would you prefer to sign an undertaking for the money to be deducted from your salary? Or would you prefer me handing you over to the police for investigation? Chief. I'm in for trouble. What kind of money is this? Coming in to meet problem. Answer me. Well, sir, in all honesty, since you doubt me, I know nothing about this money. Well, I was left with no choice than to sign on a take in order to make you happy. And let me sound a note of warning. I do not want to experience this type of ugly incident again. Yes, sir. You may go. Sweetheart, yes, we get married, I'll move out of that house, honestly. As you can see now, Ben, your mother does not like me. Don't worry, she will learn to accept you. I mean, she has no choice. She has to. Just just look at the humiliation I got from her during the time. How long am I going to put up with this? Hey, don't worry. Listen, nothing good in this life comes easy. Nothing. You know? The important thing is that we love each other. I love you, you love me. Nothing can come between us. My mom will love you. So. What matters is the love we have. <laughs> so, Frisco. Um, I have incurred some huge losses in recent times. You remember Tony, my friend. I gave Tony 20,000 US dollars. 20,000? Yes. I'm talking about cash. This was money meant for a particular customer of mine. But somehow, he lost the entire money to some street thieves. But that, in essence, did not bother me. Because God has really blessed me. As if that was not enough. My Lexus Jeep, the latest version of Lexus Jeep, snatched at one point alongside all the valuables. Wow. So that's what happened. Who's that? Frisco. Elvis, what are you doing here? Okay. Get out! Prisca. Get out! Is that man? Tony, it's nothing important. It's just some admirer that wouldn't let me be. I mean, this guy is such a pest to my life. He sucks my blood like a mosquito. Did you tell him that there's no longer any available space in your life? That I, Donald, has taken up all the available spaces? Of course. So, as I was saying, there is this other man I picked from the gutters. I dusted him and placed him as a manager in my company. He could only repay me by embezzling 15 million naira. What? Of course. People are so ungrateful. He embezzled 15 million naira. But in all in all, still did not affect me. You see, you don't expect to toy with a tiger's tail and go unpunished. As I speak with you, that idiot is somewhere in Kujé prisons, languishing. That sets me right. Honestly. Look, I'm going, I'm going to kill this guy. I'm going, I'm going to make him know that. I... You don't even rest in your house, do you? This guy, what is it? That it's you. Get out. Get out. I thought it was um 
Priska, who is this young man that lacks every decency? Who is he and what is he doing in my house? Eh? Sir, I find that particular remark highly uncomplimentary. You see, just in case you don't know me, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Donald, the Chairman Chief Executive of McDonald's Group of Companies. Young man, that does not give you the audacity to come into my house and turn it into a beer parlor where you can spread your legs anyhow you like. Just look at the way he's doing come. Managing Director. Young man, you are irresponsible. Leave my house. What? I said leave my house! Daddy. Leave your house? Daddy. Do you realize that it is my fiance you're talking to like that? You shut your trap. Stupid girl. Priska. Baby. You know, this is a frontal assault on my personality. Baby. And I hate insults like this. Baby, just, just cool then, okay? I'll, no, listen. I'll make it up. You realize that I am financially capable enough to buy up this entire property and hand it over to your father as a gift. Please, please, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, leave, leave my house. Please, do now. Oh, my God. Daddy. Oh, 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 oh. Daddy, I do not like the things that you do to me in this house. I do not like the way you treat me in this house. If it was bad now, I oh, know you are welcoming this guest. I do not like it, Daddy. You get out of here! You please clear. Don't touch me. Oh my god, I just went to see a friend up there. You, you look so angry. Where is Priska? Mrs. Johnson, I have never been so totally humiliated in my life. My goodness, what happened? Your husband just insulted me in there. If not for the kind of respect I have for you and the entirety of this household, I wouldn't come back here again. Please, 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 please. Nothing can ever stop you from coming to this house. How are we? Where is Priska? She didn't even see you off. Priska is in there, shouting at your husband. I see. Mr. Johnson, please. Nothing can stop you from coming to my house. You're going to be my in-law, isn't it? Mrs. Johnson, do you realize the kind of person that I am? The kind of individuals that I transact all kinds of businesses with? Please, please, please. Why must I be so insulted by Mr. Johnson like that? I have never taken this from any man at all. Come on, Donald. I know your worth. I know you're a very busy, busy man. Please, don't be angry. I apologize on behalf of my daughter and the entire family. Even my husband, please, forgive. But nothing can ever stop you from coming to my house. Okay? Let me go in there and finish the shouting that Priska has started. By the way, where is your car? I, I, I parked off the street. Um, I just want to go get some things before driving home. It's okay. I'll take care of the situation, please. Um, I have to run along. Okay. I, I have an appointment with my um, business partners from Italy. I know. So very I, busy man, I know. Yes, I have it's to go okay. get uh, things okay. going and all that. It's okay. Uh, Why? why did you throw that boy out? Oh. I don't hear it. I said, why did you throw Donald out of this house? Oh, that miscreant. He turned the whole of my house into a beer parlor. Can't you see what he has done? Look, look at it, look at it. What did he do? What did he do to this house? Oh, you can't see it. But, Johnson, I beg you in the name of God in heaven. Leave Donald. Respect him. Respect Donald. He is the kind of in-law I desire. My God. Yes. In fact, he'll be the one to turn around the fate of this family. I beg you, leave him alone. Leave him! Jesus. Margaret, do you know you are a fool? A very big one. I, I never knew you were this foolish when I married you. Okay? What? My foolishness permits me to recognize an international businessman when I see one. Donald is an international businessman. Mm. Not this kind of business you do by... Placing four bags of cement by the side of your, your shop and call yourself a businessman. Donald is a guru, an importer, an exporter, general merchandise. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Please, please, can you allow me rest in this house for once in this life? Can you? 
My God, what a mistake have I made? Am I going to live with this stigma for life? What is it, Margaret? What is it? Are you regretting marrying me? Eh? Me, Margaret. Go ahead and divorce me now. Answer. Divorce me. You are a common thief. Yes. Come and show me what I have stolen. Leave me alone. I will not leave you. Leave me alone. Margaret. Show me what I have stolen. Margaret, show me. leave me alone. Ah! Ma You are your wife, Peter. Oh. You me! Sorry, no, sorry, sorry. If you don't want us to be sad, why don't you tell us to go? Tell us to leave your house! Let's go and you stay! You stay. Hey. Foolish sorry. man. Sorry, sorry. 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 He really beat you. Who? He's on me. I beat you up. That now, eh? Shut your mouth up and come back next time. Ben is not around. Sorry, ma. Thank you very much. Sorry. John! Yeah. Baby girl! How are you? But how much is there? One million dollars. One million dollars. Chief, but you brought it so late. It will be difficult for me to, 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 to send it today. Ah, then keep it till tomorrow. Uh, what about the risking for? Where are we going to keep it? <laughs> Chief, we've been dealing with you on trust. And it's between you and I. <sighs> Anyway, I don't have any problem about that. I will just try to consider the risk. We have a that I just found. Um, in about a fortnight from yeah, now, yeah. we will have our seminars. Okay, and uh, please don't fail to remit this tomorrow. I will. As soon as you are true. I am really in desperate need of money. God, I, 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 I've got to get some more money from this girl, Priska. Priska. But the problem is, I, I, I don't seem to fathom how. What, what, what other strategies to deploy? I just, I just don't know. <sighs> Fake your birthday celebration. I should shower you with my coat. You know, it's not possible. Listen, in this game, I am supposed to be a big boy. containers it cost me millions of naira. Is there nothing at least you can do to salvage them? I understand. What? 
Mr. Controller, an additional 200,000 Naira? But I just gave you 300,000 Naira the other day. Oh my God. It's okay. I understand. Okay, I'll call you back. I'll call you back. A very important visitor just walked in right now and uh, I need to attend to her. All right. I'll talk to you then. Damn! What is this country turning into? Those bastards are asking for an additional bribe of 200,000 Naira. When it's not long, I gave them 300,000 Naira. What for? To get the containers out, of course. Jesus Christ. Tell me. Just tell me. Is it now an offense to import? Is it now an offense? Just, just take it easy, sir. Please. Okay? Just take it easy. Tony, me, please, can we talk to him? Please. Donald, I've told you. Please. Take this thing easy. You don't get out of it. Listen. You guys don't get it. The point is that I'm down and out financially. I don't have any more money anywhere. I know. I am only left with one option. And that's the bad option. Going out there to borrow money from my friends. I just have thought to raise this money to get these containers out. No. Sweetie, you would do no such thing. Then what? But how, how could you go out and borrow money? A man of your status while I'm here? Hell no. Um. I'll talk to my mom about it. What? Priska! No, no, and no. You do no such thing. Do you realize the implications? So now or later your mom is going to be taking me for a parasite. Listen, I'm a man. It's not supposed to work like that. Sweetie, don't worry. I do all this because I love you. And my mom is a very understanding woman. I mean, come on, there are ups and downs in a man's life, and she too should understand that. Right? Priska, look at me. I don't out. I have made money. And I have this money. The point is, right now, the lack of it is causing me a very serious delay. But I intend to overcome it. Just, just look what is happening to my containers. Maybe I understand, okay? So they just, just take it easy. Please, okay? Take it easy. I'll help you out. Please. Let me rely on you for the very last time. After this, don't give me any more money. Do we have a deal? Yes, sir. Don't give me any more money whatsoever. Do you know that those bastards haven't released Donald's containers? Really? They're asking for another additional 200k. Can you imagine? What are they holding on to? I don't know. Donald made mention of the fault coming from the clearing agent. I don't know. Well, I, I, I told him I was going to talk to you about it. To see if you can render further help to him. No, I don't have money. I don't have money at all. Let him source it from his friends. No. You know Donald is a very proud man. He would never belittle himself by asking for a mere change of 200,000 naira from someone who's going to say no. You know, I mean, he's a very responsible man, Mama. Well, speak to your dad. Daddy would never give me. Besides, he hates Donald. You know what? Your father just stepped out now. Why don't you go to his room and search everywhere, look for money, take any amount you want. I am solidly behind you. Thank you, ma'am.
I, I thought you had gone to the shop. Of course, I, I forgot some documents and I came to pick them. Oh dear. You know you are know, overworking yourself these days, eh? Why don't you come and sit down and rest a little bit before you go back? No, no, Margaret. See, I, I don't want to be late for my appointments. Let me go and get those documents, please. If the box is sent down together like husband and wife, what's going to be? Okay, see that. I will. I will do that when I come back. Let me go and pick those documents. I wouldn't want to be late for my appointment. I still want you to rest. You know what I want to do? Yeah. Sit down. Let me go to your room for a second. Ah, uh, Margaret, you. How, 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 how would you see them? I, I don't even know where no, I put on, them. But you, you won't see them. God. I'm going to search for them now. Let me go and get them. Let me. Let me. Let me go. Right? Come on. So I found this bag. God, how do you survive with this bag? It's so dirty. See. Now leave, 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 leave. And let me warn you. I do not want to see you again in this room. Is that clear? This briefcase you are tampering with contains money that I hold for people on trust. So, Daddy, are you calling me a thief? I said leave. No wonder I never do anything good for you. Trying to clean this dirty bag that you carry to work every day and you are calling me a thief. Just carry it dirty. <laughs> Why are you holding back now? Why are you holding back? I did my best though. I did refuse. You should have just delayed me a little. In any case, how did it go? Were you able to get any... some... No. He caught up with me. And he called me a thief. See? And asked me not to ever come into his room again. Oh dear. So... You couldn't get any money from that poor room? No money at all. But he said something. He said that the briefcase in his room contains a lot of money. And that's why he never wants to see me in his room again. Ah. <laughs> okay. Wait, 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 wait. You know what? Don't worry. I will get that briefcase myself at my own time. Okay? Since he has mentioned it with his mouth that he has a lot of money there. I trust you now. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, this your hair is coming too. It's taking too long. Don't you know what I'm doing? I want to kill them. <laughs> He has some official documents since I did, and he lost the key. He now asked me to open it for him. Mm. Okay, now let me help you. Don't help me, <laughs> Mr. Kusabarita. Good night. Night. Go 
and give it to the Lord. Tell him to open it and take all the money inside it. If the money inside it is not enough, he should get back to me so I can make it up for him.
Don't you think it's too early for you to start roaring like a lion? We did not see your briefcase. Babe! 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 Yes, Daddy? Please come. Good morning, everybody. Please, did you take any briefcase from my room? No. Oh my God, but who could have taken it? That briefcase contains a lot of money belonging to our cooperative union. Have you, have you asked mom and Priska? But they said they did not see it. Mom, where is that briefcase? What is the matter with you? Eh? How can you ask me about briefcase? Am I the custodian of briefcases? I saw you and Priska with the briefcase here last night. Mm, ben, 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 please take me out of this. Don't get me involved with something I do not know about. I, I will not condone it to. It's very early for it, Ben. Look, I, I don't understand what the hell of a drama that is going on here now. Would you two stand up from this place and go and give me that briefcase? Now! Hey! hey! Oh, ah! My dear, since the soldiers won't let me take my breakfast, I'm off to work. Please, yeah. Uh, my friend, please. You see? Irrespective of the differences that we may have, you are still my wife and Priska is still my daughter. Please, I beg you in the name of God, please give me that briefcase. See, it is the money contributed by our cooperative members for the importation of cement. That briefcase contains one million US dollars. Jesus! Please! 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 Please. Eh? Please, please, Mama. You should be this man. Baby, briefcase now. Please, girl. Please go to him. Hmm? Tell him to give you the briefcase. Huh? I will give him some money today. Who? Who? Him? Who? Who? This is not the money you want. Ah! Why bother yourself about who? Huh? Margaret, please, please, let us all go there. So that we can appeal to whoever that is having the people, please. I'm sorry, I can't go with you. I'm already late to work. Hey! Please, 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 Please come. 
Attends, ma fille, je vais te Hello, Prisca. I regret, however, to tell you that I am out of the country. You see, you don't have to bother looking for me, as I will be back before the containers arrive at seashores. Thank you for everything. You have been very wonderful. Bye. What is it? What? Just left the country. Please, I want to see him for something very important. Can you tell him to spare a minute and come down to see me? I'm sorry he can't. The cooperative will be in serious problem if he fails to speak with me. He has stroke. God forbid! Ah. Well, that's why the doctors advised that we should leave him upstairs to rest. We should not get him involved in business and anything that will aggravate the situation. So, you can't see him. Okay, greet him. Tell him I was here. Oh, I know, Wala. Please um, close the door behind you, I beg. Eh, I saw it off. Come, Sign this one, please. Where is the money now? I'll give it to you in a jiffy. Just sign this. Better bring it to I don't want to. Uh... I'll raise it. I've been here twice. I didn't meet you. And I also went to the hospital where I was told Daddy has been discharged. How come? But he was looking very, very strong two days ago when I saw him. Yeah, I'm actually wondering what could have caused that illness. See, I really don't want to talk about it. I just... He was ill, yes. Let's just leave it at that. But I hope he's getting better. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's upstairs. Oh, going to be... Madam, I came to collect the money. What money? Uh -uh. The money I signed the receipt badge for you earlier today. Are you out of your senses? I gave it to you that same moment now. Me? You have to make a mistake somewhere. You have not giving me this money. Check very well. Please, don't even start that trick on me at all, at all, at all, at all. Please. Go and check your records. Please, leave me alone. This might be some kind of joke. Who is joking with you? Who? Madam, please give me this money. Now, what kind of rubbish is this? Eh? Give me this money. I'm telling you, you give me this money. Before this in turns, I have nothing else in this office. Or you sign up my signature from this, you, you clean my signature from this, from the, from the voucher. What kind of thing is this? Hey, hey! Mr. Wiseman from the East. Please, leave it. you can see I'm very busy, I beg you. I am not here to dope with you. If you don't give me this money today, you will be in a bigger problem than myself in this office. Is that a threat or something? I promise. I'm promising you. Okay. I'll see who will deal with each other now. I gave the accountant this money yes. and he acknowledged the receipt. He yeah, has his signature. He just came back and asked me to give him the money again. I don't know whether he's in for a joke or what. And he has refused to allow me to do my work. Accountant, come to my office at once. Yes, good Why are you take interest in disturbing this woman's face? Sir, she brought a voucher for me this morning uh, to sign without giving me cash. Yeah. Now, listen to your own speech. How could you have signed a voucher without collecting? 
But sir, she promised to give me the money later. That was why I went to our office. Now leave my office. You know what you said? And listen, stop bothering this woman. This woman. You don't believe me? Listen, and there should be no case of missing money. I don't want to hear that. Okay? Oh now leave my office. You again? You think you are smart? I must see your husband. My own health is, is getting frail. The people whose money your husband is having will never let me rest. I don't understand what you are talking about. But I can assure you my husband is not around. As soon as he gets better, I will let you know about it. Then tell me where I can find him. No where, no where. Just take what I have told you. Hello, Ben. How are you? <laughs> oh, good with you. I'm sorry, sir. Yeah, fine. Oh, good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm just coming back from work. I can see that. My dad has been longing to see you. Have you seen him? That's exactly why I'm here. I've not been able to see him. Ah. ah. But, but he's, he's upstairs now. Did my mom call him for you? No. Okay. Uh, why, why don't you see now? I'll inform Sorry. him you're here. Downstairs, he's waiting for you. Chief Williams. Yes. I will see you. Dear. Let us tell him you cannot see him. He should go until we can find solution to the problem. No, I must say. He has to know what has happened. Okay. If you must see him, let's tell him that you were attacked by arm robbers and they took the whole money away. No. No. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, can we tell him now that uh, Foster's took the money away from you and you are doing everything possible to recover the money? Well, leave him alone now. Leave him. Will you shut up your mouth? What do you know? Ah. Uh, uh, okay, L let, let us uh, tell him uh, this one that is very close to the truth. Uh, that you were actually carrying the money in the briefcase uh, uh, when you had the heart attack. And now, um, consequently, you do not know what happened to the briefcase. Johnson, how are you now? Easy, easy. It has not been easy, very easy. It has not. It is now I know that my days are numbered. Oh, come on, don't say that, Mr. Johnson. Stop saying that. Our cooperative members have been worried over you and the, the money for importation of the cement. Chief William, it is that money that has kept me in this condition. Were you attacked by armed robbers? Mm -hmm. Then what happened? My wife. My wife. Chief, I have a bad wife. See, it is only resolute that the day a man marries a wrong wife, that day he begets a wrong child. My wrong wife and my wrong child are the ones that are sending me to my early grief. How much did they take and how much is left? Everything. Everything, Chief. I'm afraid, Mr. Johnson. 
our cooperative members will be in a worse situation than yours when they get this news. You see, all they contributed is their life savings. <laughs> a lot more people will be sent into, I mean, to their early grave when this news gets to them. <coughs> Mr. Johnson! <coughs> Mr. Johnson! <coughs> Mr. Johnson! Daddy, come here. Daddy, come here. Hey! Daddy. Mr. Johnson, come here. My husband. Come down, 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 Well, from all indications now, he's going to be confirmed in a wheelchair. Today. I don't want to see you anywhere near him. Do you understand? This is the consequence of your evil deed. I hope you're happy now. My father used to walk, but thanks to you, he's here. From this day on, you cease to be my mother. And I will hate anybody who calls you my mother. You see, the day I went to ask for this woman's hand in marriage, her father, that is your grandfather, told me that she has a problem. That she prefers. Well, I told him that if at all she did that, that could be because she lacked. Believing that if she lived in affluence, she would not steal. But I've been proved wrong. Since she came into my house, she has never lacked. But she did not only continue to steal, but she gave birth to a girl who is just like her in every manner. And for you, Priska, I pity you, my dear, because you're just a young girl growing. You still have a long way to go. You got your life. Like mother, like daughter. I'm sure by now you know you're no longer my sister. You're just my father's daughter. Johnson. Please, I'm sorry. Mm. I didn't know that the amount of money in that briefcase was that meaningful. Mm. And I didn't envisage that the, the effect of what Priska did will go this far. Please, I'm sorry. I never knew Donald to be this kind of person. I never knew he was going to treat me this way. Please forgive me. Please. Dad, please, I beg you, do not listen to them. What you need now is to calm down, have lots of rest and lots of love. And I'm ready to give you that, Daddy. My dear, whether I forgive them or not, it's not a problem. The thing is that the man in me is gone. Yes. My life can never be the same again. My life has been cut short by the woman I call my wife and the girl I call my daughter. I cannot change anything again in this world. But I pray that in the next world, I would never get a wife like Margaret. And for you, Priska, instead of getting a daughter like you, I will remain childless. Babe. Sir. 
you are my son and you will continue to be my son. Take me to my room. We have made a lot of mistakes. But I think we can start from somewhere to remedy some of them. I'm suggesting you see if you can walk your way back to Elvis. Yes. Mama. Elvis. Yes. I don't think you accept me back. Just try. There's no harm in trying. She'll be very surprised to see me. I just came to apologize for all I've done to you. All the hurts, the pains, and the traumas I brought to your life. And to, to ask you if you can take me back. I promise that I will never... No, no, it's, all, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. So you, you, you don't have to do that. Priska, you see, I, I don't have a problem with you. I understand everything. Please sit down. to take me to live with him and his wife. I just want to tell you. Mm -hmm. huh. I see. Ben was to live with his wife and separate you from your own wife. So, why are you telling me? Listen, Margaret, don't, don't go about it the way you are doing. It's not good. Ben is only after my being taken care of, and I don't see anything wrong with it. Oh! No! I don't. I don't see anything wrong with it. Did you hear yourself? Did you hear yourself, Mr. Johnson? So, Ben can now take better care of you than your own wife? Huh? I see. Well, if you choose to go with him, go with him! If you come back and meet me here, good for you. If you don't, good for you. And what is that supposed to mean? What else? <laughs> if you choose to go with Mr. Caretaker, you expect me to sit down here and wait for you? No way. You go and look for somebody that will take care of you. I also will go and look for somebody that will take good care of me. Simple arithmetic. You are what is on. 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 Jesus, you are what is Jesus, you are what is on. Jesus, you are what is on. 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 You are worthy, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we want to thank you for your loving kindness and your steadfastness and love. Amen. Thank you for your kindness upon our boss. Amen. And every member of this office. Amen. Take away from us every trap of the enemy. Amen. 
Deliver us from the spirit of fornication. Amen. Amen. Spirit of adultery. Amen. Amen. Anger. Amen. Strife. Amen. Wickedness. Amen. Anybody in this office that takes what does not belong to him. Holy Ghost. Fire. Holy Ghost. Fire. Father God. Take care of our husbands and our wives for us. Amen. Even our children and our families. Father, we place them in your hand. Take Amen. care of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May we share the grace. The grace of our Lord Look at him. Even in the spirit of prayer, he is still keeping malice. What is this? Yes, man. Why are you behaving like this? What's wrong with him? You don't know this woman. For God's sake, you are talking about prayers and not malice. Must we all go down, eh? We don't eh? know this woman. You, you, you people have this whole that woman sign. Oh, you know. people have disorganized the whole prayers. And I will personally report it to the boss. Sir, I, me and Priska, we've agreed to proceed with our court marriage, and we consider it uh, imperative to seek for your consent. Okay, I have heard you, but I hope you know that marriage is not only about a man and a woman coming together. Have you carefully thought about this plan? Yes, yes I have. I would have preferred you to go back and still think about it very well. Create options for yourself. And then out of your options, you can have someone to marry. So I, I have <coughs> sat down, I've thought about it and I've come to a conclusion that that Prisca is the love of my life. I still advise you to go back and think about it. Daddy, if you do not want to encourage us, I will go ahead and get married to him with or without your consent. Well, if you are resolute, you can go ahead with your marriage arrangements. But young man, my pity goes to no one else but you. Do not say I did not warn you. Okay. This is I'm taking my kiss. Okay. And within 24 hours, uh, give me cogent reasons why disciplinary action should not be taken against you for incessantly harassing this innocent, devoted, and God fearing woman. That reminds me, Colin. Mm. I mean, you know, if no one wants to see daddy since we came into this place. Yeah. And it's really bothering me. Okay? We'll go tomorrow. It's just that I don't want to see mom's face or Priska. Okay? We'll go tomorrow. It's just that I don't want to see mom's face or Priska's face. Don't you think it would have been a lot better if dad had accepted to stay with us? Yes. But now that he doesn't want to stay with us, don't you think it's our duty to always take care of him? By like going to see him. So, first day in tomorrow morning. I can see that day. This is all that has a man. It can't just cut it. Just sign for me. Nice. I hope it's complete. Why are you wanting to complete? Thank you. 
What's the day's date? So when are you going to give me the the contract you promised me? <laughs> Don't be afraid. I will link you up with a more prosperous business. That will make you know that. Really? What sort of business is it? It is on the fast lane. Fast lane? <laughs> Margaret. Who is this young man sitting with you and what is he doing here? He's my business partner. Your business partner? Yes. We were actually discussing an important business when you rudely interrupted us. Young man, please leave immediately. This is my house and not a place for business discussion. Please leave. I told you. You are a thief. Thief. I caught you at last. Thief. Proper huh? thief. Mm -hmm. eh? I told you. Please I, what? I, I, I was only trying to. Uh, I only tried. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a mistake. Eh? Hey! Please. I only wanted to. It was a mistake. Eh? What mistake? Huh? Eh? It is the devil. Which devil? Tell me. What complexion is the devil? Black, white, or yellow? Eh? Green. If there's any devil in this office, you are the one. Mm. I told you. Yes. I told you you are evil. Eh? Too less you have gotten you. Thief. Leave this thing. Leave it. Leave it. Leave this thing. Thief. 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 Thief.
you go and get the I'm going to shoot you. Give me my bag. Don't give it to her. Give me my bag. Don't give it to me again. Put it on my teeth. Give me my bag. Put it on my teeth. Hey! Yes, me and yes. yes. Me and teeth. Yes. Me and teeth. Hey! What are you now? Me and my brother just in the teeth. What are you? Please call me the police. Get police call me. No, you yes. haven't got to that. Let us wait for our MD to come. Which MD? Give me my bag. Give me my bag. Please sit down. Sit down. What? Who is this? Who is this? You, you are a thief. You, you see? From that, you, 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 Hey! I will Meet you. No problem. Useless man. Thank God you are here. Thank God we saw how we caught her. Hey! Oh, you are I told you. I said, come to the police, sir. You, with my uh, property. <laughs> 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 you are a thief. You are a thief. You are a thief. Oi. Oh. <laughs> you know what? What? I'll be going to the office. Okay. And I'll be going to choose this service. Okay. I'll be coming home on time. Okay. Um, just take care of yourself for me, okay? Mm-hmm. Oh, love you. Love you too. Mm. Go to work. <laughs> Go to work. Okay. Go. <laughs> Go. Take care of yourself. Yeah, baby. Ah. Take care of yourself. Oh, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. What are you both trying to turn my office into? Sir, uh, uh, Excuse me, sir. It is this man. Excuse me. It is this man. This man. I, I came into the office this morning. I, I was looking uh, looking for Eno, searching for her everywhere. Eno, the cleaner. I was shouting her name, Eno, 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 Eno. The, the next thing I saw was both of them came out from somewhere and then brought out money from where I cannot tell now and started squeezing, forcing the money into my bag. And the next thing they started shouting, thief, 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 thief. Ha! I was so surprised, I was shocked. I didn't know what to say. Eh? Excuse me, sir, don't mind her. You know, because of the incident happening in this office, I became very much convinced that this woman, this woman you are seeing here, is behind all the missing items and money in this office. Mm -hmm. Today, I came early enough. I and Eno hid herself somewhere. When she walked in, when she walked in, she did not see any of us. So probably she thought that we did not come or we have not been able to be here. So what she did, she even called Eno, but Eno did not answer. So she walked straight to my office, went straight to the drawer, and stole the 200,000 naira I kept in the office. In that drawer. So immediately I and Eno just caught up with her. And she had not asked her to beg in us. When we refused to compromise to her begging, she turned to fight us. It's not what happened. Can you imagine? Why can't you say the truth? How did I know that you have 200,000 naira in, in, in a drop? In Are you not the one that paid yesterday to me? Do I know where you keep money? My son, mm, my daddy, you're welcome. Hi, daddy. Ah, good to see you. What are you doing here? Well, looking for something to eat. Eat? Uh, Did mommy cook anything? Ah, no, not at all, babe. Not at all. Hmm. Anyway, how did it go with my cooperative members? Progress recorded. Well, for a first, uh, I've been able to give all of my savings to Chief Williams. Then um, I was able to get the money off from your fixed deposit. Uh, what is remaining now for me to do is to sell the shares and the land. Then we'll calculate everything and know how much is left to be paid. That's good. Well done, my son. I'm obliged to pay every member of that cooperative, you know, every debt I owe them. Well, Dad, um, what's most important right now is your health and your speedy recovery. That's all I'm concerned about. How can I recover my son when everything I've worked for in life just vanished within a twinkle of an eye? Well, Daddy, stop talking like this now. Daddy, stop talking like this. <laughs> you have to take it easy with yourself. God gives and God takes away. Daddy. Okay. Um, since you refused to come with us to the house, I and Ben brought a nurse that will be taking care of you. Really? Yes, you she's in the living room right now. Sassy! Susan! Susan's going to help you with your physio and every other thing you need. Well, this is Susan. 
Uh, Susan, that's my father. Yeah, All right. So. He's very close to my heart. Take good care of him, okay? I'm sure she's going to take good care of him. I don't play with him. Awesome. So that he yeah. should take good care of you. Yeah, Make sure you're physical. Yeah. And this man will be working <laughs> in the next three weeks. Yes, so amen. 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 Come to my office immediately. Sir, Anne arrived after we've caught her. Yes, sir. See the framework. It's true, it's true. Sir. But like say framework. Uh, what happened this morning? What did you observe when you came into the office? Mm, when I came into the office, I heard Miss Johnson shouting, This a framework. This a framework. Then when I got into the scene, Accountant told me that she stole 200,000 from his drawer. And uh, accountant was with her back. So this infuriated her. She engaged herself with a physical fight with the accountant. Yes, yes, I was very, very angry. What you said is close to what I've been told already. Okay, excuse me, sir. Yes. Uh, if she is insisting that it's a frame up, Mrs. Johnson, where did you park your car? What, are, what has that got to do with what you're saying here? I want you to swear with the engine of your car that you did not steal the money. Yes, swear. Accountant, I thought you said you were a Christian. Don't you read the Bible? The Bible says that we should not swear by anything in heaven or on earth. We are, not, we are forbidden to swear. As a Christian, I cannot swear to anything. Oh, I can imagine. Can you imagine? You don't want to swear. swear now. You don't want I mean, to swear. I, can't swear. I don't want to swear. Eh? On this matter is so complicated. I do not know who to believe anymore. This is the truth, sir. This is the truth. Let her just confess. And prepare to let. Excuse me, sir. I sack letters for both of them. Oh, sir. We're still here. It's almost midnight and you haven't eaten your food. Susan, that food can wait for as long as I care. Look, it's past midnight. And this woman is not yet back to this house. Where did she go? She doesn't even care whether I eat or not. Eh? Yeah, At least my welfare should be in her schedule. I agree, ah. sir. I agree. But the food has been waiting on the table for long. Let you the food to wait. Eat, and this attitude is not, is not good for your recovery. Let the food wait. Let the food wait. And where are you coming from at this time of the day? Eh? Just look at the time, Margaret. Answer me. So you now want to be following me around anywhere I go? Is that what you want? Then rise from your wheelchair. <laughs> I say rise! Mm. Rise from your wheelchair, you're moving at me, rise and let me see. Rise, Mr. Johnson, rise! Mm, you know he's sick. Huh? This is Excuse not right. Me. Beg your pardon. He has a stroke. Will you keep your mouth, keep your mouth shut? How dare you talk to me like that? Oh, What's your business? Don't ever put your dirty mouth in this again. Nurse in the day and bedmate for my husband in the night. You think I don't know what to nurse no more? Shut up! Keep quiet! I said, get out! 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 What is that? Get out! Get out! Out! Nonsense! What is it? Let me see your feet to feet in this house again and see what I'll do to you. Ah! What is it? Intruders everywhere! They will let me rest in my house! Today is a nurse! Tomorrow is a doctor. Next tomorrow is somebody else. Well, do you really need a nurse? If you do, then you have one here. Stupid. Oh, God. Do not let this woman go free. I do not pray for anything again in this world, but I pray that she should be paid in her own coins. Yeah, Sunday, sir. Are you telling me that four bags of cement will not be enough for this job? No, sir. Five bags, sir. <clears throat> okay, five bags. Okay. Who is this girl here? 
That's my wife. Is there any problem? It's just that her face looks so familiar. Like one girl that do come to see one of my neighbor chips every Tuesday. Where? At Ajegule. Uh, Sunday. How much will the uh, water, waterproof cement, how much will it cost you? Sunday. Sunday! Sir. I'm talking to you and you're staring at my wife's picture? Sir, I'm convinced she's the one. Her name is Priska. She comes there every Tuesday and stays till late night. She's not that tall. Wait, wait, wait a minute. What did you call her name? Priska, sir. Priska, that's the name of my wife. Do you know what? Sunday. I used to go to service every Tuesday and you see I I come in very very late. Oh, wait a minute, wait. I'll get you some money. Hmm? Yes sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I want you to go home. Check if she's there. Okay, sir. If she's there, come back and tell me. If she's not, you say come back and tell me. Okay, so thank you very much. asking you, Margaret, are you not going to work today? I have resigned. Resigned? Why? I have resigned because I am tired. I'm tired of this, their insult and their kobo kobo work. I'm tired. Hey, come on, Margaret, come on. Why would you have to throw away bad water when you don't have a clean one to drink? Who said I don't have a clean one? Anyway, I am going into big time business hmm. and my business partner will soon be here. Excuse us. Excuse you for what? We want to discuss business. What sort of genuine business discussion that will forbid my ears? Eh? Please. This is not time for cross question. Now get out. Margaret! Margaret! Mar Margaret! is about kidnapping of children. Oh, and sell it then to me. No. I don't want to do any business that is not recognized by government at all. Don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to. Each child you bring to me, one million naira will be yours. One million naira. My God. 
It's as simple as that. If one child will give me one million naira, then I am interested. Good. How will I get the children? Device. Devise your strategy. Sonny, sir, why are you panting like this? Sir, as I'm talking to you, she is there right now. Are you saying she's there now? Okay, come, let us go. So sure she's here. Oh, that she's here. Okay. Do you know what's going to happen? No. I will do it my way. You understand? I will wait outside here. You will go inside. No. Okay, follow me. She's inside there. No, 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 Sunday. You see, you don't understand. And I will do it my way. Let me just wait down here. Uh, but Oga, sometimes eh, she leaves late night too. But what you will do? Don't, don't, don't let her know I come with you. If not, she's going to kill me in this compound. Why are you talking like this? Okay. Let's go. No problem. Let's go. Margaret. Margaret. Yes. What is it? I said I want something to eat. Okay. When I'm through with what I'm doing, I'll get something to eat. Or are you jealous because I'm drinking? You know you can't drink because of your health. Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy, Thank guess what? Welcome. What is it? Daddy, I brought food for you. Ah. My darling, thank you very much. As if you know how hungry I am now. Ah. Hey, come. What are you setting me for my husband? What is it? Mommy, it's the food I made for Daddy. Oh, 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 oh. So it has come to this. It has come to this. You now bringing food from outside for my husband to eat. Mommy, my food from Shut there. up! What is it? Will you keep your mouth out of this? Shut your mouth up. Don't ever try it. You are married to my son and not to my husband. Unless you want to take my husband away from me. No, no, no. Shut up and get out. In fact, no. take this food. If you don't want me to throw this into the dustbin. Nonsense. Get away! Get away! Get away. You have to repent though. You have to repent because you are a wicked woman. You have to repent. Repent! Justin, you are a wicked man. Slimy wicked man. Your daughter-in-law. Good Samaritan. Look at her. Does she look at somebody who is eating well? She has a lot to bring to, to somebody else. Slimy people, slimy, wicked. I've been waiting here for the past five hours. She's still in there. Christ! Wait a minute. Should I just go in there? Of course I can go in there and bust the place! I'm going to 
the house to see daddy. And to give him the food I made for him. And I went there, my mother threw me out of the house. Oh. So I wanted to snatch her husband away from her. No, no, baby. It's okay. 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 Calm down. Baby, please, don't refer to that woman as my mother. I haven't known the kind of person she is. I mean, such an action should not surprise you, baby. Huh? I don't know why she had to be like that. Sorry. Oh my god, Oh, my darling. It's okay. It's okay. Don't feel bad, okay? That's not true. Don't hold it back. If you want to, like, please, you have no value, so. <laughs> Why are you begging me to stay now? Okay, okay if I give you a bit of all my mother don't take tonight. No, no. Chips, you don't know how huge you are. Leave me a little bit. Okay, come here. Okay. 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 What is this now? I came to see a bricklayer by the name of uh, Priska. What are you doing here? I came to see a classmate of mine and he um, wasn't around, so his younger brother is helping carry the bag so I can go. What a coincidence. Yeah. Why don't we go home? Aren't you going to see the bricklayer anymore? Do you know him? No, no. How could you say such a thing? So let's go. Okay. What's wrong? Give me my bag. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. Your brother is around. You to leave my bag. I'm sorry. Bye bye. He's not my cable. Okay, thank you. Baby, what do you want me to prepare for you for dinner? Rice? Beans? Oh, I forgot. Your favorite soup, a goosey. <laughs> How could I have forgotten? You just tell me if I'll prepare for you, okay? It's late. Well, you know, I don't mind. I love you so much and I want to do anything for you. I can't do anything for you, you know that. Well, since it's going to take a while for me to prepare, I'll just go fetch you a drink so you hold on to it for Okay, so. Actually, no, not Kovalik. So you would like it. Uh. I'm not drinking. Okay. Since you don't want to drink, I suppose that you want me to make the kisses so fast. So I'll go to the kitchen and I'll start up. Okay. Briska. told you the first thing tomorrow morning pack your bag and your baggages as you live in this house what have I done? you make it worse when I realize you don't even have a conscience where's all this coming from?
Young man. Sir. I have never heard that women are thrown out just out of mere exhaustion or for just lack of interest. No. Something must have prompted your action. What is the problem? Sir, my client came to my office and told me he was talking about Priska's picture that he saw on my table. He said Priska used to come to his area in Ajegule where Priska has a boyfriend. I was amazed. I was looking at him when he was saying this. But he was saying that Priska comes there every Tuesday. And that day was on a Tuesday. I looked at him. I said, okay, let me just give him a try. I said, okay, go down there and confirm if Priska is still there. He went there and came back to me and told me that Priska is still there. Gossip. May gossip. <coughs> This is not how things are done now. She has not come to this service. You should give us time to ask her. It has not come to this. Young man. Sir. I commend you very much for holding back your temper. You can go and commence divorce proceedings. What she did to you is very much unbearable to any man. Good day, my dear. Thank you very much, sir. What sort of a man are you? Huh? Just, just imagine. You could even ask your daughter questions before jumping into conclusion. You want me to listen to her? What's yeah, you feel Priska is guilty now. I will not do that because you know that what this gentleman said is little compared to what Priska can do. Johnson, you are a very wicked man. Very wicked. And you are very foolish. Ooh. Ooh. I'm sure you like this one. Mm -hmm. Give me more bread. Come on. Yes, I want to eat and get filled. <laughs> Sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Why don't you go and see your daddy this morning before you go to the office? Mm -mm. We'll leave it till I come back. Okay. Let me come back from work first, okay? So you can stay with him for a longer time. So you know what you'll do. Please prepare something for him, alright? Food? No, not me. I cannot stand your mother this time around. Point of correction, sweetheart. She is not my mother. I've told you this several times and I'm going to say it again. She is not my mother. Hmm? I've never seen a man like you. You can't defend your only daughter even once. Mm -hmm. You divide your family into two. You love some and you hate some. That is your fault. And that is your business. And that is your job. Look, look, look at it. Like mother, like father. daughter. Like father, like son. I have seen your goodness. Are you expecting somebody? Of course, yes. TJ, TJ. Hello. Welcome. You, you again. TJ, help me take this man out so we can talk. Margaret. 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 Margaret, mind what you are doing, though. Margaret, mind what you are doing, though.
Husband? Oh, really? Is that him? Of course, he's there. Just come. Come and take his cup. Just come. Come and take it. Come. Take it. Take it. Take it. I, I hope you guys are satisfied now. He's dead. Your father is dead. You kill him. Like this? Yes. Okay. I'll give you biscuits and more of this. Will you like to go to my house? Yes. Good. I'll take you to my house, give you more, and then bring you back for mommy. Then you'll show me where I can get a taxi. Alright? Thank you. 
like this. Look, God knows why everything happened. You don't have to be discouraged. You have to be strong for the both of us. Besides, not the end of the world. Only me. So we we'll have our own child. Yes, I'm pregnant. Come, my dear, sweet girl. Ah. How are you? Hey. How are you? How is your mommy? She's fine. Good. And your daddy? He's at home. Oh. Really? Huh. Did you know them? Yes, I know them. They are my friends. How did you? Not know that my mother is dead. Oh. <laughs> yes, you're right, my dear. I remember your good mother is dead. Oh, my dear. Don't worry, yeah? Don't worry. Take some sweets. You like sweets? My mother asked me if she knew that something from the children. But I, I am not a stranger. I'm your mommy's friend. Is it because she's dead? I'm the morning with mommy's take it. Come! 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 Come on! You can sell with your mother and bring her to know our home. God forbid! God forbid! I will never do such a thing. Never! 
she will never step one foot into this house. Listen, sweetheart. In spite of all that happened, of which I am a witness to, she still remains your mother. And even if she is an unrobber, a criminal, a murderer, and even the devil herself, she still bore you in her womb and went through the pains of childbirth. Please, Terry, just do this one thing for me. Asking me to do is very difficult. I know. I know. It's very hard, but you just have to do it and put the devil to shame. But for the love I have for you. <laughs> this woman, you are a sharp woman. If you continue like this, you will make 100 million in a month. TJ, please give me the check. Give me, just give me. <laughs> Here's your check. Huh? To be frank, your father has good taste for drinks. Oh yes, he really had a great taste. It's really nice. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Wow. This one, you people have come to see me today. I hope I'm safe. For yes, yeah. Mama, you are. <laughs> well, um, John suggested that we come take you to our place so you can know the place and um, probably have fun with us for a couple of days if you like. Really? Guess what? I am <coughs> not interested. Mom, <coughs> I think you should go with them. What? Yeah, don't drag it. Come on, he's still your son, okay? If the parking is the problem, I'll help you do the parking. If you say so, then get my bag. Okay. Thank you. But you know what? If I get there and the atmosphere is not conducive, I will come back immediately. No, Mama, you like the place. Excuse, Excuse me. Please, as soon as it's not conducive, come back to me. You know? <laughs> Some drinks for you. Yeah, yeah. Help yourself. Come. <laughs> Alright, girl. So, how have you been? Good. What do you expect? Ha! Well, see, this one I have bring me big English, so what's up? I want you to buy for me. You either buy them yourself or you can give me the money to buy them. No, what? Mama. <laughs> Four pieces of Hollandis. Four pairs of Italian shoes. Three Gucci bags. Oh, this is outrageous! You didn't even mention the uh, Fendi bags and the gold earrings. You know, that's what I wear. I don't wear anything apart from gold. Really? Of course. Okay. It's been long since you bought anything for me, so this is what I can get you. Right. You know you bought things for her. Alright, when I get back from work, we'll talk about this accumulated list. <laughs> okay. Sweetie, okay, cool. Alright, um, I'll see you when I get back.
You will soon be late to work. I'll do. Take care. Just take care of yourself. And have a lovely day. Bye, Mom. Bye. What are you preparing for my breakfast? I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you. I prepared sea bread and egg. I'm sure you like it. No, 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 no. I want fried rice and chicken for my breakfast. <laughs> then powdered yam and vegetable soup for my lunch. Okay, is that what you want, Mama? Okay, let me just go upstairs, take my bath, and then I'll go to the market and get... Will you shut your mouth up? Shut up! What is the meaning of that? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is that? I am telling you that I want fried rice and chicken for my breakfast. This is my son's house. I have the right to demand for whatever I want. If you're woman enough, you should provide it. Go get my food, Biko. Mama. Now get out and stop shouting, Mama. Sorry. I'm sorry for yourself. Mom, oh, but I asked you to please be patient with me. When I finish, I'll just go to the market and Will you shut up? Why did you ask Ben to come and bring me from my house since you cannot provide for me? Why? I'm talking to you. You are you, you, what, what you are doing. Mama, I, Mama don't, I don't like to see you. Mama, don't lay your hands on me again. Hello, Mama. Oh, you are now one enough to. You are one enough to. Oh, 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 Please go. I am sure you 
you are not speaking this from your mouth. It's from my mouth. It's coming from your from heart. From the depth of my heart. From your nose. From the depth of my heart. I will be back. God forbid. You will, see you will never step your foot into this house again. Never. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? She will be a murderer, a criminal, even the devil. But she's still your mother. She is the devil. Have you seen it? I hope you're happy. You won't believe it. Those people nearly stabbed me to death. See, all those period I was there, no food. Don't she know how to cook? You will ask her if you see her. When she's supposed to give you tea and bread, she will give you pounded yam. When she's supposed to give you beans, she will give you tea. Come on. Who did she say her father is? Because I'm just wondering the kind of family <laughs> training she has. That serves me right. That serves me really good. Does he know he's suffering? No. That's true. That is the problem. Anyway. If he remembers the way he was living here, of course he know he's suffering. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jennifer, that's a lovely name. I am Rose from America. Hmm? I want, I want to take you to America with me. Okay? You like it? Yes, ma. But my dad will not agree. That's okay. That's okay. I will follow you to the house and tell your father about it. It's okay. Thank you, ma. You're very kind. Oh, that's okay. It's good to be kind. You have to learn to be kind too. Okay. Let's come back to my house. I can get the kids. Jenny. Uncle Tony, good evening. Uh -huh. What are you going to? This is my this man is my friend and he wants to take me to America. Taking you to America in your school uniform. Hello? Hey, madam. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Where are you taking my little niece to? I. Jenny, I don't, come, I don't come, know. come, come, come. Where did you say she's taking you to? She's taking me to America. You're taking my little niece to America without the parents' consent I, 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 in her school I, I, uniform. I, I, Will you stop there? I. 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 Uh, you are what? I don't even know her. No, you must be a thief. Me, thief? No. Yes. Did I steal anything? You're a kidnapper. And that is. That's the way I will treat you now. Brother, what's no. happening? Look at this woman. This woman said she's taking my niece to America. Hey! hey. hey. Madam! Why? I told you, madam. Hey. 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 Are you not having a child? Don't have a child. Don't have a child. Don't have a child. Don't you have a child? Don't have a child. 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 Huh? What Wait, this, this woman must have sold a lot of children Mom. before now. Uh -huh. Yes! And she will have other syndicates. Uh -huh. So if we kill this woman now, oh, we cannot recover those children. Who are very understand. important to their parents yes. that yes. 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 I advise that you hand over to the police.
But now I know better. You have to go back to the house and get my checkbook. I I have some money. I want to give you to give to Ben. So you can repay some of the money. Your father is owing the cooperative members. husband and ask for forgiveness. Reconcile with him. Turn a new leaf. You have to turn a new leaf so that you will not end up like me. Thank you. 